Hi guys and welcome to the first instalment of this multi-part series. Today I've got a project to show you that I'm in the early stages of designing, but first a bit of backstory for you. A few of you may have seen my project from back in 2020 when I built a handheld Windows gaming console inspired by the Project UFO that at the time had just been announced. My version was built around an 8 inch Atom based Windows tablet which ended up being extremely limiting due to the lower performance of that chip. Even with the limited performance, I really enjoyed replaying the early PC games it was capable of, as most of my childhood memories of games revolve around PC gaming. Since completion of that project, I have designed a couple of handheld gaming devices, the main one being the Retrolite CM4 where I teamed up with a friend of mine and fellow hardware modder Stonedge. Links to his channel are in the description. As a team, we created a Switch Lite styled gaming handheld that was powered by a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. I did most of the CAD and CNC work and the programming for the controller. Stoned Edge took care of the PCB design work and helped me out with the testing and bug fixes for the code. That project taught me an awful lot and now I would like to revisit PC gaming handhelds with my newfound knowledge in an attempt to improve on my first design. Let me introduce the NUC Deck, an open source handheld gaming PC based on an Intel NUC computer. My aim with this project is to create a device that could rival the commercial units that are now widely available. Since there are many different versions of the NUC available, I want to have the flexibility to run just about any model so that you can choose whatever performance level suits your budget and require minimal modification to the NUC to make the project less intimidating for beginners. The model I have picked up for testing has a 7th gen Intel i5 CPU with 16GB of RAM. This only set me back about 200 AUD and should run most games up until at least 2013 and some less intense titles right up until the last few years. Obviously a more recent NUC would provide better power and efficiency but I didn't want to drop too much money on this project initially so I've picked a more budget oriented option to begin testing and designing around. So far I've tested a couple of PC games on the NUC, Portal 2, the 2013 release of Tomb Raider, CSGO and Crisis. CSGO was probably the worst, but it was still playable. The rest ran very well and looked fine on the 1024x600 display. I've also tried a bit of Wii, GameCube and PS2 emulation and from my short initial testing, it appears as though it will run games from those consoles pretty well. If you guys have any games you'd like me to test, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. I have chosen a 7 inch 1024x600 display with an RTD 2660H based display driver as these are commonly available and relatively cheap. I picked mine up for about 45 AUD. The driver board is quite small and should only require minor modifications to be able to fit. The lower resolution should help with performance on the lower powered NUX, although there should easily be room for a higher resolution display, so that's a possibility in the future. The controller will be powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico and will feature dual analog sticks with RGB surrounds, analog triggers, gyro aim assist, and a little LCD display for controller configuration and battery monitoring. This removes the need for any sort of battery monitoring on the NUC as the secondary display will have all that information available without interrupting gameplay. The controller will also have a sliding switch to choose between mouse and controller mode along with a menu button which will open the controller's built-in menu and allow you to configure settings using the D-pad and AB buttons to navigate. For sound, I've got stereo front-facing speakers which will have a chambered design to help with the low frequency response. I haven't worked out what amplifier I will use yet, but I'm hoping to find a USB-based solution so that I don't have to tie up the headphone jack on the NUC. There will also be Bluetooth available on most NUCs, which will be probably what I'll end up using most anyway. For power, I am planning to use four 3000 milliamp lithium cells in a series configuration which will power the NUC for about an hour at full load. The specification on Intel's website claims the NUC will run on anywhere from 12 to 19 volts, so this makes a 4S lithium battery an ideal candidate to power the NUC directly without any need for voltage regulation. To test this theory, I have done a battery rundown test and I can confirm that the NUC does happily run on battery, all the way down to 12 volts and even slightly below 12 volts without any issues and I got a little over an hour out of it under heavy load. This was also powering the display from the NUX USB port, so this test includes the two most power demanding parts of the device. The lowest current draw I saw was around 700 milliamps at idle and around 1.2 amps with a less demanding game running, meaning you could easily see two to three hours of battery life for less demanding titles. This will vary depending on the model of NUC used, so your results may vary. 
So far, I have almost completed the initial CAD models and I have begun printing prototypes to fine tune the design. Once I am happy enough with that, I will start machining the housing parts out of acrylic and making the button moulds. I still have a lot of work to do on the power management and touchscreen driver and hopefully I can get Stoned Edge's help on that stuff, since that level of PCB design is still a bit above my head. This video has pretty much caught you up with my current progress, so the next update could take some time. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification icon if you don't want to miss out on the next instalment. I'll be releasing all the CAD files once the design is complete, so make sure you stay tuned for updates. See you next time.